what's up good people welcome back again to another video in today's vlog we are at Kimocha place and we're going to be basically having a look at the miles cafe and sports lounge i think it's kind of is it a subsidiary or a sub branch of mocha hotel yeah but anyways so let's go and see what's popping So as you show on the entryway, the, you had to like wash your hands and have your temperatures taken. Protocols. So this is when you enter and this is pink, it is the cafe area. So after to go to the restaurant area. And as you can see, it is so beautiful. I love the aesthetic. They are pleasing. This is them so beautiful. I love the decor and the overall setup. So this is a closer view to the deco, which I love the colors. And then it has like an amazing view towards the Rajambili area which is stunning and now this is the way towards the there's like a kaba on the side then there's a staircase leading towards the sports lounge area and to me guys the entire thing that was like my favorite spot it was like the best the best guys like hmm. look at that it is the view it is the view for me guys this view eh hey you can just see it for yourself it is them so beautiful beautiful is an understatement I don't even know how to describe it guys but it is so pleasant to look at and even to be in the place amazing this is really a good place to come and chill especially like the people who love football this is place is so relaxing and comfortable and I love the way it has an amazing 360 view of the Kisi town like you can have it on it on both angles you can have a view towards Nyanchua towards now the CBD I mean this is a place to come and just chill when you want to have an easy day and maybe like when you're not in a hurry but if you just want to have a quick bite and go i wouldn't like recommend it because yo even when i sat here for like a few minutes there's no one who came to like serve me even after pressing the things on the table that said you can make an order you can do a call i don't know if they're not functioning or they're ignoring them but i wanted to go back to the restaurant area downstairs So there's no menu, so they just had to tell me what is available, and then I order. <laughs> I'm shook. So the lights, I don't know if you can see that. There's no menu. Like she, had, she came with a menu, but she said it's not updated. So here, basically, what was happening was the person who served me first didn't want to add me in the menu because they say that it was not updated but i finally got it from someone else so as much as it is not updated for the common meals like chicken chips sausages i think they 
the prices were kind of decent if i can say but they're way slightly pricier than usual so i ordered the chicken burger together with fries and mango juice So be aware maybe you say something here maybe the prices are subject to change maybe like slightly higher with like a 50 bob or like a hundred bob so the waiting time this is me like waiting for the meal which from the time of ordering until the arrival of the meal was like an hour later oh which to me was too much considering the fact that i was hungry but the good thing they had like music playing around so uh this is like me casually jamming and snapchatting snapchatting to the music that was playing on the background so since the order took way too long, I had to get some of my work going on as I waited for the meal to arrive. And finally the food arrived. So as you can see, the presentation was okay. And the stuffing was nice, but guys, I felt robbed. Hey, 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 this bag as you see, it is 800 bob exclusive of the chips. I had to pay 200 bob for the chips. Guys, who does that? Who does that? How do I pay 800 for a burger and it is not inclusive of the fries? To be realistic on average, a burger inclusive of fries is like 500 bob. And for me to pay 800 and extra 200 for the price, guys, I felt ripped off. But anyways, we move on. On average, out of 10, I'll give the meal a 6. Yeah, because I think the chicken, it was not fresh, guys. I just felt it like even kalibaki. But the rest of the things were okay. Which I think even to some extent didn't sit well with my tummy. But it was not that bad. So it's a 6 for me. And in these places like this, I would highly recommend you go for foods that are fast going something like chicken boozy things that people are constantly eating they, they, they will have you they will lead you to getting way much fresher foods as compared to this thing that people hardly order for so i think that is something i learned should have even like gone for chicken or fish as opposed to like the chicken burger So that is it for this video thank you so much for watching until next time bye